Hey man, another nice job collectively by uh, by the whole and by the writers in this one. What did you do uh, in your couple of days of work to sort of just drill cement things? Uh, yeah, I mean, just coming into the game, uh, you know, my job in that situation is just to try and keep the team where it's at. I mean, we get a shutdown inning, my first inning, uh, after we get going, quick inning, kind of get the momentum back in our favor. Um, and then the second inning, giving us another chance. I mean, I know we had Rogers coming in after me, who was pretty much a lockdown guy. So just getting the team and a chance to win the game as deep as possible. What was it like to be part of that walk-off sort of non-celebration for the first time? Yeah, I was in the training room uh, doing my, like, shoulder routine and stuff but i watched it and it's just it's awkward for sure i mean you guys watching out there nobody's touching it's just it's definitely not the same but it's still an exciting win so that's all the main thing that really matters all right phil miller matt you were uh, warming up during that long sixth inning where uh, you uh, probably prepared like you were going into a four nothing deficit and you come in four four times what does that change uh, in your uh, preparations in the bullpen, and uh, how big a lift is it uh, when you come into the game? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, longer innings, you got to kind of watch how many pitches you're throwing down there. Um, you know, luckily, you know, I think early on, I, I kind of knew I was going to come in if we had a tie game, and then they called down, gave me plenty of time to get ready. Um, it's just a little different when you got to wait for so long and you're just trying to get some work in. Uh, not, you don't want to overthrow. I mean, I don't want to throw 35 pitches in the bullpen and be tired for the game. So it's trying to find a rhythm of, you know, one or two here and there, and then um, you know, obviously coming to a tie game, you got to be kind of locked in and give it, and you know, just go out there and try and get quick outs and get the team right back in. No. Man, I remember in spring training, you told me even you were a little surprised when the Twins picked you up so quickly. What does it mean for you to you know continue to get into these close situ a close situation like this and continue to be success in that? Yeah, I mean, it's something, um, you know, obviously as a new guy, uh, I've done this a few teams now, you got you to gotta go out there and prove yourself to get those kind of innings. And you got to build that trust with the coaches and, and with Rocco and Wes and, you know, all those guys to get those types of innings. And, uh, I mean, at this point now, I got I to gotta keep going out there and keep working every day to try and stay in those innings. And, you know, we got a really talented bullpen out there and a lot of back-end guys. Um, and, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to go out there and have Rocco and Wes trust you enough to give those guys, you know, rest when they need it um, and go out there and eat those, those late innings uh, when the team needs it. That Hayes. Hey Matt, um, this is one of the fourth game. I think. Uh, how do you like the the way that the, the game plan or the, the games are being called for you? Um, I, some of the guys have talked about the advanced scouting that goes in and how how good it is, and just knowing they have to execute. What are you finding so far? Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, everything uh, that we have is good. All the information that we get on the hitters is really good. Uh, very helpful stuff. And then, uh, you know, just talking to Mitch and Alex a little bit. You know, I'm not too difficult of a person to catch. I mean, obviously, I threw a lot of sliders. So uh, it's basically <laughs> you're getting one or the other most times. Um, so they're easy to work with. They're good to talk to. Um, you know, it's always a good talk after the game to kind of go through some stuff. But uh, I've really enjoyed, you know, throwing to both those guys so far.